Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So if you saw my video last year about me ditching Maui for work and starting to use Avalonia, so today is the day that I actually start doing Avalonia UI for work. So I decided to kind of guide you through my process and learn as I go with you guys and document it because Avalonia is a great project. However, the documentation is not great. So let's get started. First thing you have to do is download the Avalonia templates. So .NET doesn't come with Avalonia UI templates. So you just have to do .NET new install Avalonia templates in your terminal. I already did that. Next thing you have to do after you do that is create a new solution. In, and I'm using Writer because literally the Avalonia UI creator said that they're, that this is the best IDE for this. Uh, and also Writer is built with Avalonia. So I'm guessing they have good tools to do their job, to make their job easier. So in here, you're just gonna say, search for Avalonia. And in my case, I decided to do an Avalonia app. The reason for that is I'm moving from Blazor, which is code behind. So it's easier to just kind of like translate that code into an app instead of also moving to MVVM. If you think I'm doing the wrong thing, please let me know in the comments and tell me how stupid I am from doing it this way. But yeah, other than that, you go ahead, you create the application and all this is going to be in commit. So the first commit is just creating the application just so you don't have a bunch of files and you can always get that in my GitHub. So you'll see here, my first commit is adding project. My next commit is going to be creating the UI thing that I'm creating right now. Another cool thing, I'm using this extension so you can have it. So that one is the Avalonia writer. Uh, you can just get it from the plugins and then you restart it and <laughs> not going to say they happened to me, but if you're like, Oh, why this is not working, make sure you click this because by default it doesn't have it. So just select this and now it'll magically appear. And the cool thing about this is kind of like, it lets you real time, see what you're doing. So like if you change something, you will see it changes down here. And it's the cool thing is also kind of interactive. So you can see kind of like the effects and stuff like that when it happens. So Pretty cool. The The other thing I'm using, as you can tell, is Material UI. So Avalonia comes by default with uh, some themes. They're all right. And this one looks kind of like the Windows one. It's all right, but I actually prefer Material. So I'm using uh, the Material Avalonia. Pretty straightforward to use. Basically, they tell you what to do, add, add it to the app. And then you can also have data grid and dialogues if you want to add that. And you can also add the icons by just doing this. So I already did that. And it's basically these things over here. So then after that, you can build it. Well, I'm just going to do debug. And we have our application. Another thing I uh, didn't mention is the material UI is built by the community. So the documentation is not great. Uh, you, you'll see there's a lot of stuff missing. So if you can contribute to it, but also if you want to learn how to use it, the best way is you download the whole project and they have a demo with a bunch of stuff. So that's where I've been kind of like copying stuff from. So like the buttons and everything comes from here. So you can see, I, I basically just copied them straight from here and you can debug this application as well and kind of see what they're doing. So you can see here their application, they have like their little menu and everything. So you can steal a lot of stuff from this. So this is how I'm gonna be building my application. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.